y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 2 let's play pleasant view so today we are back with the pleasant family and y'all we are it's winter time so they got their cute little coats on but the girls just got home from school and i think Lilith is just doing everything possible to just eat at her sister and get under her sister's skin I really think that Angela is due for a mental breakdown anytime soon, but also y'all, I got the notification when I entered into this family, this household, that the girls will be aging into adults soon, so it's about time to go ahead and send them to college. I think I will do that in the next part with them, but I think today we're just going to hang out around the house. Also, Mary Sue aged up as soon as I entered into this, you know, household too, you know. So, we missed her aging up. But here is what I was talking about when I said that Lilith is doing whatever she can to get under Angela's skin. She has brought home Jonathan Graham, which, you know, uh, I think Angela may kind of, you know, she, yep, she's having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> she's like, how could you? Oh my God, they kill me. And she's like, really? What is your problem? You have a boyfriend. Why are you getting so mad? Oh, my God. I really wanted her grades to go up. I tried to have her finish all of her uh, homework before she went back to school, and it didn't work. Why, or, why is Jonathan down there talking about a baby? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She can kiss him? What? Um, maybe, maybe not. Let's not go there yet. But I do kind of want them to maybe, like, go and toss the football or something. Even though it was Lilla that brought him over. Um, she is about to have a nervous breakdown. So I think I'm just going to have her come over here and play on the computer a little bit. Get her fun up so we can get that homework. But see, look at her grade. She's doing so well. She's an A-plus student. Uh, I'm going to hopefully try to get Angela maybe up to a C C plus B before we can get her into college. She really went downhill. Um, I just have a feeling that she is just about to be making some bad decisions that's detrimental to her future and the relationships in her life. Um, but I'm just going to have them come out here and play for a little bit to get that fun up. And Daniel has just been lazy all day long. Okay, really? I guess he doesn't want to like hang out with us. What is toss football yes I want to toss the football with you can you please come hang out with me and like why is my dad more interested than me okay he's an old man he's an old fart he's not interesting but I think what I want to do is have him go ahead and can I retire do we call work that way to retire um I think that's what I want to do I guess okay he was like no nah, I think it's a little too cold outside why don't you sit down and join me for you know this nice little tv show we got going on here all right so we're gonna have Daniel retire from his job because you know he is in the athletic career I don't think it's logical for him to you know be <laughs> kicking a ball around or doing anything physical at his age so yes we would like to retire okay so he will be receiving a pension of 150 daily well earned okay that's that sucks, but it'll do. And, of course, I think Mary Sue, being the workaholic that she is, she will continue to work, you know, probably until she takes her last breath. Okay, let's see who's calling. Hey, Daniel, is Lilith available to talk? Who is this? He's got a fro. Lilith, is, is, who, is who is this boy? Let's see, who... Who is this? I don't think I'm familiar with him. No. Who's calling us? I swear if it's just somebody calling wanting us to subscribe to a magazine, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> uh, I really just, I want them to have more friends. And I'm just, I'm proud of her making friends and such. But I bet it's... No, okay. I don't want to, I don't want to try out your magazine maybe maybe next time okay so these two are getting a little handsy <laughs> i mean he looks so much like dustin it's ridiculous and because she's kind of having like a breakdown i think that she is going to maybe get a little bit you know flirty with him it'd be nice if you know my dad wasn't hanging around maybe we can give him a romantic hug oh Oh my god Angela girl you better stop it <laughs> okay 
okay, you know what, Daniel, you're, you're really getting on my nerves. You're testing my patience, son. So how about somebody, can can you cook? Are you worth uh, worth anything? Maybe we can order a pizza or something for dinner tonight. Yeah, let's have him go all the way in the kitchen, get out of their way. Mary Sue has returned from work and earned $422. You go, girl. Okay, so now she officially has a crush on him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I did this. I love how I act like, oh, no. But I totally, I knew this was going to happen. Um, but can we maybe, ooh. Um, okay, well, hold up. We're going to order some pizza. All right, I think I want them to. I want them to come outside. I wish you can like go here together, <laughs> like in The Sims Four. But I, I want them to come outside, away from everybody else, to have like their first kiss. Can we? Can we do that? Okay, I'm gonna have them go for it. They're gonna go for their first kiss now. Maybe not. <laughs> False alarm. No, actually, you are. You're gonna have a kiss. Go ahead, lay it on him. No. She's like, I don't want to do this. Don't make me do this. Don't make me into a cheater. And I'm determined. Ah! They did it. They kissed. She is officially a cheater, y'all. She has cheated on Dustin, my boy. Mm. Y'all, I'm sorry to do this to y'all, but I needed to call some drama. It was about that time. This girl, she's nothing but drama. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just have a romantic kiss here. Just really get into it. Yep, they're now best friends. I mean, might as well be. You've been snogging each other's faces off. Honestly, I hate this freaking music so much. I hate this thing. I'm deleting it. I'm sorry, y'all. It drives me crazy. It's all I hear is music, and I know I can turn it down. But not only does the the music just bother me, they're always dancing to it, and it's just annoying. So, now that I've gotten rid of that problem, what is she doing? Okay, we're just going to have her, um, I want to receive, oh my god, her mom's going to give her a friendly hug. Get off the, oh my god, you ruined it. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't, I don't think that she has ever been, you know, affectionate with Lilith. So, I don't think Lilith is going to be able to do her homework as long as it's sitting right here. So, we're going to bring it over here in her room. And we're going to go ahead and do our homework. And she definitely brought home Jonathan to get under Angela's skin. But she should have known better because Jonathan is so into Angela. It's ridiculous. But anyways, we're going to have Mary Sue. What are you doing? Okay, I guess she's like talking to him or whatever. Like, hmm, I've been seeing you around, you know, a lot lately. It's okay, I guess. Uh, you and my daughter? Is there, is there something going on that I need to know? You and Lilith, you and Angela? Eh. And, of course, he knows that, you know, this little cheater here has a boyfriend. So, he's like, oh, you know, we're, we're just friends. And friends with the benefits, you know. Oh, my God. Anyways, look at him. He's just sucking up to his wife, making sure he's on top of all of the cleaning and whatnot. Um, I guess she's about to shoot him out of the bathroom. And then we're going to have her go work on her homework since it is getting late. And I do want her to finish those two... Um, little notebooks that she has there so we can hopefully get her grades up before we start college but yeah y'all I don't know I think I may have all of the teens you know like I mentioned maybe all play in the same household um, when they go to college but I haven't made up my mind if that's something that I want to do yet or if I kind of want to keep them separate like boys together and the girls together um, so I don't think that we're going to see them in school until the next time we get around to the Pleasants, we'll probably have them move out that day and take the boys with them uh, because, you know, technically this gameplay, this, you know, family is a little bit ahead of the other two. So I kind of want to catch them up on their grades as well. Um, so, yeah, what are you doing? No, you're not watching TV. Get up here and, you know, get it together, girl. You got you got to get your priorities straight. Oh, look. Okay, so... <sighs> officially I think these two are on good terms again they finally have a crush on each other she's looking at us like thank you for saving my marriage you're welcome <laughs> anyways yeah I figured I I wanted them to you know make it work they're getting you know a little bit older you know and I just I don't see the point in them you know just 
calling it quits. They've been married for a long, long time, and they have a family together. I think it's definitely something they would work on. And after the girls go off to college, I really want to send Mary Sue and Daniel on a tropical vacation, kind of like to renew their vows, you know, a little second honeymoon getaway, because he does want to go on an island vacation. So I think that would be really, really fun. But um, it's, yeah, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to have everybody just continue to sleep and uh, get ready for school in the morning. Hopefully when we, you know, pick back up tomorrow, we will see an improvement in Angela's grades. Um, you know, and, and kind of just see what happens, you know, with with Jonathan. And, you know, is he going to go to school and say something to Dustin? Is she going to break up with Dustin? Are they going to stay together? You know, what is going to happen? All right, so update. Angela is doing slightly better at school, but still has horrible grades. Well, you know what? We have a C plus, which is better than the D minus we had. I'll take it. You know, C gets you a degree, babe. <laughs> All right, we're just going to have her uh, come in here and, oh, it looks like it's going to snow. Oh my gosh, yay, finally. I haven't seen snow yet in Sims 2. You know, it's been a hot minute. Well, I've seen it, but a long time ago. But anyways, I think what I want to do is... Lilith got wind of her sister making out with Jonathan. You know, he, he opened his big mouth. Um, we do know that she is pretty good friends with Dustin. Dustin doesn't know yet, so she's going to call Dustin over, you know. Kind of just, like I said, get under her skin. She has been avoiding Dustin. Angela has, so I think Lilith is just going to go ahead and just say, you know what, why don't you just come on over, surprise her. <laughs> My girl, she is, mm, sounds great, I'll be there in a few. She's like, perfect, I'll see you when you get here. <laughs> she has no idea, but um, I don't know, I think that oh, she's stressing, she's stressing out, look at her face, she's breaking out. But let's go over here and put some pimple cream on, use some acne cream. I think that when he gets here, she's going to automatically assume that he found out and kind of maybe tell on herself um, because she knows that people have found out he opened his mouth and she's surprised that he hasn't said anything to her yet. And so him showing up on her doorstep is kind of going to be her just absolutely assuming the worst like oh no <laughs> she's then looked out the window it's like i know he's here he knows he knows i'm busted i'm so busted and she's like <laughs> did i do that <laughs> oh my god these two i'm telling you who's this Brittany woodland well hey what you doing she's gonna you know just lay one on him anyways like hey and he's like hey she's like look um I know that you probably heard, you know, uh, and he's going to be like, wait, what? You did what? Wait, you you haven't heard? He's like, are you serious? You, you kissed Jonathan? You cheated on me? She's like, no, it kind of just happened. I was stressed out. He came over. We just, just kind of flirting and, you know, I, you know, I love you. And he is just like, un, unbelievable. But nonetheless, he's still going inside her house. And I think Dustin loves Angela so much that he would stay with her. He would believe her and, you know, see her just as an innocent little angel. Which is exactly, you know, what she... <laughs> She's like, oh my life, I'm about to whoop your ass. No, you just didn't. She was going to slap her, but... <laughs> Oh, instead, uh, she was too busy reading the newspaper, and it kind of canceled out, but that was funny. That was really funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay, we're just going to have them, you know, just try to figure it out. But, yeah, she's, like, looking at her, giving her the side eye, like, you did that. You invited him over, and you set me up. And she's like, well, you know, you shouldn't be a whore. You shouldn't cheat on your boyfriend, you know? Well, you know what, you're right, I shouldn't have, you know, I got a good guy, and, you know, for once in your life, Lilith, you're right, but, you know, I think that this will just make us stronger, and she's like, really? Really? Looking at him like, you're gonna take this? And he's like, you know what, I am, I, I love this girl, and she's, she's made me better, and, you know what, I'm just, I'm gonna talk to Jonathan, might have to, you know, throw hands, but we're, we're gonna get through this, and somehow... 
Angela comes out on top as always. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Leave all your comments, suggestions, all that down below. Subscribe if you have not, and I will talk to y'all later.